Hi guys, it's Sophie. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about books in my bag. Um, I was very lucky to um, receive a little new books on my bag mug, which I'm going to be drinking to throughout, throughout this video, along with um, a new tote bag, which I'll show you, which is rather beautiful. I think it's very lovely. Um, and they were kind enough to send me a bit voucher as well to spend some money on books, which is fab. Now, these are going to be a little bit of a spoiler for my Around the World, um, but I thought I wanted to show you what I got anyway. Um, I spent the money that um, they, they kindly gave me, and a little bit of my own money as well. Um, but I thought I'd just show you the haul of what I picked up today, um, and obviously it was from my, my local bookshop. So the first one I have is going to be my one for Japan, and this one is Record of a Night Too Brief by Hiroma uh, Kawakami. As this is Japan, I'm excited. It's a fantastic cover, isn't it? It's so colourful. Uh, I'm going to read you the back because it just the whole the whole of the back kind of sold me. Um, so it says, in these three haunting lyrical stories, three young women experience loss, loneliness, and extraordinary romance. A woman travels through an unending night with a porcelain girlfriend, monsters of the mist, and a monkey who shows no mercy. A sister mourns her brother, visible only to her, while her family welcome his would-be wife into their home. And an incident in a park leads a shop girl to discover that snakes in intimate lives everywhere she turns. So yeah, it sounds really cool. It's a little one, um, and yeah, it just it's beautiful. I've seen this author's books, um, they're all printed in like really gorgeous editions, and I've been drawn to them before and just thought, do you know what? Actually, I haven't got Japan yet, and I fancy it. And next I have a collection of short stories. Um, it is This Is How You Lose Her by Gina Diaz. And this, I believe, is my pick for the Dominican Republic, but it might be Dominica, I'm sorry. Um, I can't quite remember, but it's, it's a collection of short stories all about the relationship between men and women. Um, and I knew that I wanted to read something by him. Um, and when I saw it, it was again a little one, and I thought, why not? And the next one is my pick for France, which will be one of the first books that I'm reading from, actually. Um, and it is Birth of a Bridge by Maes de Carangal. Um, now this one sounds very strange. Um, it's in a town called Coco in South California and um, they essentially, this, this new mayor decides that he wants to put his town on the map by building this humongous bridge. Um, but apparently it kind of turns into like a modern day Babel. Um, I've no idea. I've heard really good things about this author and I think it's Men the Living is the one that lots of people were sort of really excited for. Um, I saw this one, I hadn't heard of it and I thought it was really cool. Like it looks really industrial and it's not the kind of thing, like it sounds like it's a little bit, it sounds like it might be a little bit like dystopian. Um, and I don't, I haven't picked anything like that up for a while. Um, yeah, this one was published by McElhouse, McElhouse Press. Yeah, McElhouse Press. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's a pretty book. Um, lots of colourful things as well, this all. And then the next one I have is one I knew I was going to read, and it is The Double by Jose Saramago. This is a story about a man who watches a film and notices that one of the like lead actors in this film is identical to him in every way. And he kind of goes on this quest to find this identical man to him, um, and it gets rather messy. Sort of hints that even his family don't know which one of him is him by the end. Um, yeah, so I didn't really want it in this edition, but actually I do I, I do actually quite like it, having picked it up, it's the Red Spine um, one, so there's ones that are kind of like cartoony drawings that I'd seen, um, but actually I, I do quite like this one. I, do, I just think his his own ones, like his cover series, are really beautiful, um, but yeah, it's a pretty book anyway, isn't it? And the last one I have is one that isn't for my Around the World Challenge, but I'm going to read it in the month of October, um, and it is... Out of the Deep and Other Supernatural Tales by Walter de la Mare. Just, just take a minute for this. Isn't that fantastic? Um, so these are collections of supernatural short stories which I thought would be good for October. Um, again, I'm just going to read you a bit of the blurb because the second one is what really sold me. Um, so it kind of goes over that he's watching some supernatural stuff. Um, and then it says, A visitor from an alternate world is glimpsed in a snowy churchyard. A box contains a creature that resembles, but not quite closely enough, a human being. That sounds fantastic. Two schoolboys spend a holiday with a sinister aunt. In many of these stories, ordinary settings in the English countryside possess a hallucinatory quality. A sense of meaning beyond our grasp and events running out of kilter with reality. So I thought that sounded really good. I've never heard of the author before. Um, and yeah, it just it, it's a very Halloween book. It's absolutely stunning. And I really like it. It's like a short copy it's slightly shorter than the normal one you might be able to tell it's like slightly square but i just think it's gorgeous um and i think i'm just gonna stare at it for a while so those are the five little books that i picked up um for the books in my bag 
haul and yeah I'm excited for all of them. There's one that I've got that I can read ahead of time and the others are all from around the world but um, that's good, I'm trying not to add to my TBR too much as you're aware. Um, yeah, I hope you're all really well, I hope that you're taking part in Books in My Bag, um, I, I think it's really fun, I think it's a really nicely designed campaign and their tote bags are ones that I use like throughout the year, they're really well made, um, and actually they're probably my preferred like book carrying tote bags. Um, but yeah, so I had a really good time, hopefully you guys will too if you're going to participate and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!